Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the art of spotting a lie just by looking into someone's eyes. Now, while we can't guarantee 100% accuracy, there are definitely clues you can watch out for. First things first, let's talk about eye movements. Eye contact and gaze direction are often influenced by our thoughts and emotions. But remember, one sign alone isn't proof of deception. It's about looking for clusters of signals. One of the most common signs people think of is avoiding eye contact. When people lie, they may feel uncomfortable making direct eye contact because it can trigger a feeling of guilt or anxiety. But some people can keep eye contact even when lying, so don't rely on this alone. Another tell is rapid blinking. When someone feels nervous or stressed, their blink rate tends to go up. So if someone suddenly starts blinking more than usual, it might be a sign they're under pressure. This one's interesting. Often people tend to look left when they're recalling a memory and right when they're creating or fabricating something. So if someone looks right while answering a question, they'd be lying. But again, this isn't universal. Our pupils can tell a lot. In high-stress situations, pupils dilate. If someone's pupils suddenly get larger as they're telling a story, it could mean they're feeling anxious or pressured, sometimes a subtle sign of deception. It's important to mention that there are some myths when it comes to reading eyes. For example, some believe that if someone looks up or away, they're lying. But eye movement depends on culture, personality, and other factors. So don't rush to conclusions based on a single look. Segment 4. Putting it all together. Now here's the key takeaway. Look for clusters of behaviors. If someone avoids eye contact, blinks rapidly, and has dilated pupils, it might be a sign of deception. But body language isn't foolproof. Use these clues as pieces of a bigger puzzle, not as hard evidence. Closing. So there you have it. Spotting a lie through eye contact takes practice and context. Let me know in the comments if you've ever used these techniques or if you've spotted a lie in action. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to keep learning more cool life tips. See you in the next one.